Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to learn about how we can sort our array by using bubble sort method. So, first of all, create an array which is num is the array name is equal to five elements and the values are two one four three or five and here is three so by using nested loop we can do this task i is equal to zero and i less than five I plus plus here is the body of the outer loop for J is equal to zero J less than five and J plus plus body of the inner loop by using if condition we can find that which number or which index value is greater so num i is greater than num i plus 1 so or then swipe the numbers and here create a variable temp and store num i after that num i is equal to num i plus 1 and num i plus 1 is equal to temp so here new array and that is num and you can display here old array and I assume that here is error and here is error this is our old array and um, first of all here is j not i because j is in inner loop so by using j we are going to access the members of the array and j plus 1 j is here j and also j is here so run the program and here also 4 and sorted array is here 1 2 3 4 5 in ascending order so first of all we are going to display the array in old array like old form of the array and then after that we are going to display sorted form but suppose I want to display every step so here new line so old array is here 2 1 four five three or 
it is in side array run the program again and in inside array only one number is at the location that is 1 and 2 is sorted in one step 4 5 3 is here and in this step 1 2 4 5 3 not sorted and here our array is sorted 1 2 3 4 and at the end of the result we have sorted array which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So by using for loop and nested for loop, we can solve our problem like in ascending order. You can change the values like 11, 51, 100, 30, and run the program. And here is the result 4, 11, 30, 51, 100. So, this is all about sorting and the use of nested loop. How we can sort our data in array. Thank you for watching this video.